As a kid, I used to dream to travel the world, to step my foot on places where history is made, to see their wonders with my own eyes instead of seeing it just on the computer screen, to not only hear the stories being told by somebody else, but to experience it myself, to touch the statues and to feel how big it actually is. But then I decided to become a musician. Which is perfect, because every so often I get a call to travel to places I can only wish to go. Even better, because now I get to go there for free. So when I got a call to go to Washington DC for a gig, I could only ask, when is the flight? So come on guys, let's go with me to Washington DC for a gig while exploring the beauty and the history of the city. So I'm ready to go to DC right now. It's a stressful evening for me. I have a big band work earlier and I have to teach like these three students straight and I have to do a last minute booking for my car because I have to drive my car to the LAX. I have to park somewhere. Uh, it's not cheap and the thing is you have to book it. So I already bought it but now I have to go there and hopefully I can get everything settled down and the shuttle is not gonna take too long so I can just jump onto the plane and that's it. So I'll see you in the airport. Bye-bye. How long have you, how have you guys been waiting? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? You know when it's gonna come? How long? Hello? Is it shuttle? You know how long the shuttle's gonna come here? 30 minutes? Okay, thank you. When is your flight? Oh shit. So I was waiting for the, the ride to the airport. It's a free shuttle. If you park here, I was worried because when I asked it, it's gonna be 30 minutes. Right now, just like less than one minute, they actually come already. I'm just glad that I made it here. So let's see what's gonna happen. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Yes. We are united. I'm pretty hungry so I need to find a place where I can actually eat something there's a grill place right here I bet they're so expensive I mean not for me not today this $10 for this kind of sandwich would you eat that? <laughs> oh look at that I just asked and one of the airport employee told me that there is a food court right across where I was and it seems like they're closing no i hope they still have something i'll do this what do they have oh boy they're not kidding about the price maybe not it's like 15 dollars for like a regular burger i'm not doing that i'm not doing that a few moments later let me just get the 15 dollar burger almost boarding the plane hello good Oh, thank you. I found my folks right there. That's the one. The car is a little bit over there. I'm just exhausted. I'm literally just exhausted. I'll see you when I go to Washington DC. Bye. Good thing we landed on DC. Uh, we're gonna go to the hotel, just chilling for a bit before we start the journey again. I just took a shower and then I'm ready to embark on a journey. I have 
water with me. I have my GoPro and I aim to be back here at let's say 2.30, 3 p.m. because I have to be in the venue at 5. Uh, the thing is the venue is very close from here. It's not only a walking distance so it's very convenient. The other two guys are taking a nap and rightfully so but I think this is my first time here. They've been here multiple times so I think it's just nice for me to explore even though it's just by myself a little lonely but it's not too bad I'm so grateful to be a musician that you know I can play music and I can travel at the same time every time I get a chance to go to a new city that I've never been before I'm gonna take a chance to just explore so let's explore the public transportation is pretty okay right yeah, yeah. It is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can request a taxi for you? Uh-huh. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll sure. find a way. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, budget traveler. I'm not gonna go with Uber or taxi. I'm talking about public transportations. All right, let's find out how to get to where I need to go. Okay, where am I going now? So I'm here. I'm gonna go that way. Okay. I'm not sure where I am. So many monuments here. What is this? I have a seal the Indian. There's a writing on the wall that I cannot even see it, but it was across the Dupont Circle Station. This is run pretty deep. Look at that. Feels like we're going to a tunnel. And this is very slow. I think this is the longest escalator I've ever tried. You know what? We only have four hours to just walk. This guy wants to go to the White House. So the White House. Here. Yeah. So where should I go now? Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Metro Center. Metro Center. Got it. Thank you very much. So we have company. You're on the same train as us. I guess. Yes. You're taking the road south. Please. Where are you from? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Where okay, you you're right over there. L.A. Los oh, Angeles, LA. California. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm actually just playing music here for an event, but you know, I my call time is at five, so. This is my first time in DC, so might as well just you know explore, yeah, see right? Some stuff. Good, yeah, right. Right. What's Don't your name? Stuart. Stuart. I'm, my name is Yakub, like Jacob. Yakub. Very <laughs> yes. good. There we go. Let's explore DC. It's pretty interesting to see that this subway is very well maintained because New York's one really really bad but you know I guess this is in the capital of the United States of America so it's gonna be embarrassment if they don't maintain it well enough White House is that way so it seems like we are already in the White House area Is the president at home? Not now. Not now. Where is he? He's in a helicopter. Did you just see the helicopter take off? I think I did. No, I didn't actually. So now you're opening this? Yeah, you can walk down here if you want. Oh my goodness. But thank you very much. No problem. Have a good one. You too. I'm wondering if the president needs to see me today. Maybe Biden want to say something to me. Maybe Kamala Harris want to say something to me. Maybe not. So I've been wondering where the White House is actually at because I've just like walking and it seems like it's already supposed to be here. It turns out this is the White House. So apparently, 
they closed this entire thing because the president was in a closer proximity. Wow. I told Joe Biden I was about to meet him. He didn't tell me that he's gonna leave. He's supposed to wait for me. Look at that, a strong building. In the White House down, these posts are being destroyed. And the security guard over there was badly killed. Shots fired. Code black, code black. I'll watch too much movie. So Washington Monument's supposed to be there. Well, it's right there. Big ass obelisk. Wow, it's huge, man. So this is the base. Goes all the way up. All the way up. That's the Lincoln Memorial. We are gonna go that way now. So I have an option. The pathway, the pedestrian way, is supposed to go that way. There's a ram over there, and there's also a ram over there. But we are going that way. So what's the best way to do? straight yeah Indonesian style baby I don't even know like what's behind me right now but I bet it looks beautiful because of the obelisk so this is a World War II memorial right here so there's bunch of towers that was erected representing each state or territory of America. This is pretty interesting. Honor our veterans. So to honor the veterans, it's okay to sitting with your feet in the water, but it's not okay walking in the water. So I'm going to honor the veterans of the United States of America by sitting down and just contemplate for a second. So we're gonna go to the Lincoln Memorial right behind me. And as I walk backwards, I'm looking at a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shot of the Washington Monuments. And right over there, there's a tip of the White House. from up close the very famous Lincoln statue. Stay tuned. I'm at the Lincoln Memorial and right there there's a Lincoln statue, a very famous Lincoln statue. I have to admit that it's bigger than I thought. And there's this little sign right here saying that quiet, respect, please. Well, this is a memorial at the after all beautiful right on the right side you can actually see i don't know what is it what is this i think this is a declaration of independence no i'm not very sure actually little did i know that there's a exhibit right here the exhibit is of the making of the lincoln memorial look at that that's when we probably just built the first time there's a lot of crowd cheering on we still have a dream. Oh, that's probably the civil rights movement. Yeah, that's what it is. 
Shinkro die hard. <laughs> this is Martin Luther King. Wow, there's a band over there. Maybe we should put it as our goal to play right in front of the memorial building. That would be very cool to play music right in front of the Lincoln, the Lincoln statue. I guess that's about it. I have to go back to where I started. I have to go back to the hotel because after all, I come here to play music. I have a gig to play. I have a job to do. So the best thing I can do is to go back to the hotel, maybe get some rest, and I'll see you at the gig. Bye-bye. Going to soundtrack right now. That's where we're gonna play at. This is Steve. This is bass feature. This is this is for bass player. Oh, yeah. stop! And this is Mark. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just hanging out. feel is extreme gratefulness. My body aches a little bit, but I think it's totally worth it. And I hope my new experience and perspective I gained today can enrich me and stays with me long enough for it to eventually reflect it through my music. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next adventure.